Rohan is an area of the world, uh, it's a kingdom, it's a place with a long history related to the kingdom of Gondor and really it was founded by men who came to, to support and to save Gondor uh, far in the past. It's a beautiful area, it's broad open plains uh, and it's a landscape populated by the horse lords. Within the Riders of Rohan, we're going to have some really amazing places to go visit. You're going to be able to see Amon Hen, where the Fellowship breaks up and where Boromir is slain. You're going to be able to go into Fanghorn and explore the, the edges of that misty forest with all of the wonders and terrors that exist there. You're going to be able to come into Rohan itself and really begin to explore the Eastern Emnet, where there's a tremendous amount of Rohirrim culture and towns and, and of course the Anduin and the Argonoth that goes down um, along one side of, of Rohan as well. There was a lot of planning that had to go into Rohan because unlike a lot of the areas we've been doing recently, it's discussed a fair bit and described to varying degrees of detail in the book. It was very difficult because we have a major river on one side, we have two major mountain ranges that we've already started building on the other side, and then we have this sort of valley in between where Rohan is, and it took a lot of work to get that into a state where it all made sense as Rohan culture is based on uh, Anglo-Saxon culture and uh, Norse and Danish culture, we took a lot of uh, design cues from them, and one thing that is very prevalent in their artwork from that period is interlace patterns. And so we went through and we basically developed a series of design rules for the interlace that would be specific and endemic to each geographic division within Rohan. And so these things would vary in terms of the angularity or the curvature of the different lines that the knot work or the frequency, the cadence of the way those lines repeat. We have the materials that are pretty typical to early Middle Ages, so, you know, leather and chain and cloth. And we have specific palette that we use for Rohan, which is mostly green, white, red, gold. Those colors are predominant among the heraldry. We're focusing on content at a level of detail and a level of granularity that is pushing the boundaries of what we've done in the past. And it's really fun, and uh, I'm excited about it.